Brightline, a new high-speed railway system started operating January 13 of this year. It is the only privately funded railway system in Florida. The newly designed engine allows for speeds averaging 80 miles per hour. For some, the 16 quick daily round trips from Fort Lauderdale to West Palm Beach are a great convenience. The soon-to-premier extension in Miami will open new possibilities, but for others, concerns arise. Yeah, Brightline is actually really worth it, not gonna lie. With Brightline, you can get to places without any um, services. I mean, like, it's just one stop to one place to another. With drivers, you have to be in traffic a lot. Plus, if you look outside, it's going pretty fast. Brightline opens um, opportunities for students who do not drive. It off sends them to locations that will be harder and longer by driving. And it's a lot cheaper because, you know, gas money too. It's a quicker time. And once they open all their terminals, it'll be easier for students to get to places. Recent news has Brightline at the center of controversy. A total of six collisions have occurred since Brightline began testing its new service less than a year ago. It's a new exciting option for commuters. The lack of train safety puts both the people and Brightline at risk. I've heard about the Brightline incidents and I honestly would say for Brightline they should take some precautionary steps in, in the near, near future. Informing the riders like what safety procedures they should go through if anything happens. Um, informing the public of like you know what they could do to save themselves for any occurrences that might have happened. I heard about them on the news due to two reasons. One was about a new way, uh, the news covering a new way to get to uh, certain places by train. And uh, another one was them running over someone. According to the Miami Herald, due to the accidents, Senator Marco Rubio and Bill Nelson have asked for a review of Brightline's federal safety operations. Brightline responded by partnering with Florida Operation Lifesaver to release railway safety procedures. Many students can be pedestrians, motorists, or cyclists, leaving Brightline to educate them on making safe choices around trains and crossings. I feel like Brightline should take into consideration what the student says. You know, they could start listening to them with safety concerns. Personal safety is always a, is always a must, number one. Better I keep myself safe than risk it. With train safety measures put into place, hopefully South Floridians can enjoy this new service. I'm Diana Jimenez, reporting for FSPA, signing off.